Hey, Tony. Hi. Hey, guy. Hey, what's up, Andy? The first time I came to the Freaknotes was 1978. I came for the second leg of the Triple Crown, and I had gone to the Derby that year, so I got a shot to see Affirmed and Ali Dar renew their battle that they ended up at the Belmont with. All of Maryland really gets behind the Preakness and the college kids that are just are graduating or getting out for the summer. So there's just a lot of mojo. But you look at the program on any day across the country and you'll see partnerships on the public side and on the private side. I think I'm the only person in Louisiana that has owns the tip of a nose <laughs> and always dreaming. It's unreal. I'm so excited. I am get really nervous when the race starts. There was something in our high school gym that said luck is where preparation meets opportunity. I was prepared for a call. You made the opportunity happen. So we're lucky together. Absolutely. That's great. That's great. How Get the, the W. Work? Get these shoes, man. <laughs> nice and clean. <laughs> can't, I can't. Everybody knows we're in the shoes. If you go to West Point, That's we're in the great. shoes. <laughs> you know, partnerships are not easy, but when it works, it really works. Yeah, the Brooklyn Boys and uh, the Violas and the uh, Bonomos. I'm just so appreciative, you know, for their friendship and and for their opportunity and everybody around the industry. I mean, they know that the Bonomos and the Violas, they put their money up, they put their heart and their passion into our business. And it's really great to see the success that they're both having. And. Hey. Come on. Let's do it again. Good luck. Huh? Let's Go. do it again. Come on. And there's not anything that any of the owners can do but sit, cross our fingers, just hope that we have a safe and uneventful trip. God bless, man. God bless. Be safe. Got the top trainers, the top riders. I hope there are no excuses for anybody. Just have a clean race, a clean race, and just let the best horse on the day win. I love when you don't make any excuses. You just got beat. All right, just break, baby. They're all in, Deb. All in line and ready for the start. They're off in the Preakness. He broke. He broke. Oh, baby. Always dreaming broke very well. Classic Empire is out with him on the outside, and the two of them are one, two early on. Just relax. As they head up the back stretch, and there they are. Always dreaming in Classic Empire. I think we're all right. He's got his ears up. He's just galloping along. Classic Empire has taken the lead here. Midway on the far turn. Classic Empire digs in. Cloud Computing draws alongside. They come to the finish together. Noses apart. Cloud Computing has defeated Classic Empire and the Preakness. The best horses in the country and in the world, the best three-year-olds. And when they win the Kentucky Derby, you don't know how much that took out of them. And they can give you a lot of good signs, but you know, they got to run against fresh horses and I give credit to the two horses that ran bang up. Clyde Computing is a nice horse, just going to get better and better. He's a very good horse. And the horse that finished second was a two-year-old champion. So that's why they run around the racetrack. So no excuses, and we'll live to fight another day. <laughs>